So uh, let's go for our next one, you know, and that has also again two parts. One is first of all, you have to create a log bundle containing the logs for a vCenter and also web client and is side number two. And the second part, which is we did before, but I want to push some pressure and uh, do a lot of work in, in the same question. You have to change the default password policy. And as they mentioned, for example, the required password must be longer than 12 character. And you have to ensure that new password cannot match any of the last five passwords. So. For our purposes, again, I use that hands-on lab experience. You can maximize that here like me. And first of all, you need to export that some system logs. That would be really easy for you if you see that in a question, simply select the vCenter, which is that E6 host living there, you know, in, in the cluster. Right click on that and say export system logs. In a question, they ask me, like, E6 number two, we select that. And please don't forget to enable the check mark says include vCenter server and vSphere unit interface or whatever client logs. You say, OK. Here is also an explanation that says the vCenter server system you selected does not support export of individual system logs. All system logs will be exported from vCenter. It's okay, never mind. And just leave it as it is. If they ask you for some additional things, like for example, you have to encrypt that, simply you can enable that password and put the password like what they ask, or in the other hand, don't worry about anything, say simply export the logs. And don't wait for downloading their things. You know, pretty straightforward. Go for a second part of questions. Don't worry about the downloading things. Follow the second one. You know where you have to go. Yes. Under the administration here. First of all, check that configuration, what you have here, you know, if there is something. And after that, local account, edit, and that minimum must be longer than 12. It means that 13. And the user cannot use that last five passwords, which is uh, he or she used in a previous, uh, actually, password process. Save. That's like piece of cake. And don't worry about that, you know. It it will work. Just you have to make sure after a while you have that download files on that lab. For example, on a Windows, which is you works on it. Okay. And my suggestion is simply create here a text file and put it like question one, two three and blah 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 two question number 17 and for example for first question done second question also done but for for third one you can say part one is done part two is downloading or whatever which is you can understand with that comment on your on your actually text, you have to follow the second section, for example, or you have to follow the uh, second steps. And after that, simply you can uh, back to that notepad, which is you have and see, yeah, question one is done, two, three, five, blah, 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 17 is done. And now I'm easily can say end that exam. And that's it. Let me maximize that. We can check. Don't worry about that. It will it will be worked. You know, it that depends on, for example, I don't know that lab performance, which is you have. I already mentioned you 
use it hands-on lab experience but that all things which is you see here like e6i hosts are nested e6i hosts and maybe you have that poor i don't know performance here but somehow don't worry about the downloading this stuff finally it will work if it doesn't work properly because of i don't know some latency which is you can uh, actually claim on it you can uh, talk with that proctor regarding hey I have a problem here. They will open a ticket for you, but I would say it will never happen in your exam. As uh, as my experience, maybe some uh, delay you have in your exam, but by the way, it will be worked in the end. And like the other uh, videos in the end, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the subscribe button below and click on bell and turn on the notification and for example you have that some idea or you have some words with me you can put your words in a comment down below and as i told you already you can see that vmware vcenter logs start downloading save with me for a next question